Together, let us pray the seventh novena to Our Lady of Sorrows. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Mother of God, hear the prayers of the Church for all mothers, especially those wearied by life and overcome by suffering they bear for their children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mother of the Word incarnate, intercede for them from your place in heaven, that the mercy of your divine Son might lighten their burden and give them strength. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Redeemer, remember we are thy children given to thee by thy divine Son when expiring on the cross. Mother of sorrows, by the tears which flowed from thy eyes when Saint John related how the traitor Judas sold thy divine Son for the wild price of thirty pieces of silver. How, in the Garden of Olives, he was agonized with fear and sorrow, the blood gushing through every pore by all the anguish that overwhelmed thy heart when thou didst hear that Jesus, the only object of thy love, was condemned to death by the sorrow that pierced thy maternal bosom in meeting thy only beloved Son, loaded with a heavy cross, spent through loss of blood, fatigue and pain. By that heroic resignation to the Divine Will, which triumphing over the sentiments of nature, sustained thee at the foot of the cross, by the excess of grief that would have robbed thee of life, had not God preserved thee for the comfort of his disciples and of his infant church. By the dolors that rent thy desolate heart when beholding thy beloved Son, most beautiful in his comeliness above the sons of men, become a prey to death, the ignominious death of the cross. By all the sufferings of thy most afflicted heart, obtain for us, O Mother of Mercy, true contrition for our sins, preserving fervor in thy divine service, and the particular favors we solicit in this novena. O thou most tender and afflicted Mother, who did sacrifice thyself on the same altar with thy beloved Son, and whose heart was penetrated by the nails that fastened him to the cross, as it was our sins inflicted those torments on thy divine Son. We acknowledge that we justly deserve the wrath of divine justice to fall on our devoted heads. But if those very sufferings have proved our defense and protection heretofore, grant that now at least we may participate profoundly 
in the sorrow of which we have been the unhappy cause and obtain that souls hitherto so insensible to the strongest proofs of love may by heartfelt contrition taste one drop of that bitter chalice of which thou did drink so deeply amen Psalms 31:2-6 Incline thy ear to me rescue me speedily be thou a rock of refuge for me a strong fortress to save me yeah thou art my rock and my fortress for thy name's sake lead me and guide me Take me out of the net which is hidden for me for thou art my refuge into thy hand i commend my spirit thou hast redeemed me o lord faithful god thou hatest those who pay regard to vain idols but i trust in the lord today we shall reflect on secret suffering we look all around us at church and see them all the people whose kids never seem to scream and who look like they haven't a problem in the world but what if we really knew them we would see the secret sufferings that mirror our own mass is the gathering of those who have looked at their own brokenness through the lens of the cross and live today is the perfect day to pray for all god's broken children and especially those who are tempted to break the lives of others pray in honor of the seventh sorrow of mary the burial of jesus most sorrowful virgin sorrow again filled your heart when the sacred body of your son was taken from your arms and placed in a cold grave yet you did not doubt that he would rise again Queen of Martyrs let me join you in your sorrow and grant me your own deep trusting faith in the word of your son let me trust that even in suffering even when all seems lost with Jesus there is always a way out obtain for me too a sincere sorrow for all my sins a burning love for my god a tender devotion to you so that one day i may die in his grace and with him rise to eternal life hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray to a sorrowful mother for a particular grace. O mother most holy and sorrowful, queen of martyrs, you who stood by your son as he agonized on the cross by the sufferings of your life, by that sword of pain that pierced your heart, by a perfect joy in heaven look down on me kindly as i kneel before you sympathizing with your sorrows and offering you my petition with childlike trust dear mother since your son refuses you nothing ask of his sacred heart to mercifully grant what i ask through the merits of his sacred passion along with those of your sufferings at the foot of the cross mother most merciful 
To whom shall I go in my misery, if not to you, who pities us, poor sinful exiles, in this valley of tears? In our name, offer Jesus but one drop of his precious blood, but one pang of his loving heart. Remind him that you are our sweetness, our life and our hope, and your prayer will be heard. Amen. The Memorare Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.